Hi, this is Ask Brock on location in West Michigan. The question today is, Brock, how do I design a drilling fluid that'll drill in sands and gravels that are very big gravels and aggressive sand? I thought this was a great job site to do this on. You know, uh, when I'm designing a drilling fluid for sands and gravels, I really prefer medium yield bentonites over high yield bentonites. And I try to stay around the 25 to 30 pounds per 100 gallons. You know, and then I move to a polyanionic cellulose, our pack materials, low viscosity packs. Uh, talk to your friends at Bayroid or other mud companies and they'll tell you their, uh, their mixture. Get those engineers out on site, have a discussion with them about what you want to have for a fluid and the viscosity. I, uh, I really concentrate on ending viscosity. So, you know, I'm building a fluid that's going to have a low 40s viscosity starting. Then I'm going to add my packed material in there and get it in the mid 40s. And then once it goes down hole and incorporates with my drill solids, I'm going to have a viscosity in the upper 40s, low 50s. So I'm uh, 25 to 30 pounds per 100 medium bentonite, medium yield bentonite. And then I'm going to move to a packed material. I'm going to be three quarters to one pound per 100. I'm pre-treating my system with soda ash, and I'm, uh, I'm maintaining my system with a solids control unit. You can see the desanding cones working in the background. And the idea here is to uh, get your mud engineer out or get a mud testing kit so you can look at your filtration control. Run a 30-minute filter press, and we're looking for uh, 15 cc's is what typically you'll hear. I like to be under 12. I'm looking for my mud weight to be 8.8 .8 pounds per gallon or less, sand content of 1% 1, 1 or less, you know, and that viscosity staying in the, you know, 48 to 50. If I do that, I can have good hole stability. Uh, the filtrate's giving me a point so that I can minimize that fluid invasion of the formation, and I can have a good stable borehole. I'm bringing those gravels out, I'm stabilizing. And as I continue to drill and I know what my gallons per fit, foot are of my bit, you know, I'm replacing that fluid with a whole fluid. So, you know, I get one and a half rods in, we take a moment, we let the system catch up, I mix more, I maintain that filtrate at 12 and lower, and I'm able to drill, stabilize that hole, minimize the formation, and have a good thin filter pack all the way into my production zone. If we can do that and we have good yielded bentonite, you know, as I drill into that production zone, I'm not worried about unyielded bentonite going out into that porous zone and plugging off something. I'm gonna have a good productive water well. I hope you guys have a great day. I'm gonna have a good day drilling as well. Thanks.